Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Shannon. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to merge PDF files offline, completely offline, what is always great if you guys are handling any confidential files that you don't want anyone else being able to see. Now, the first thing you guys do want to go ahead and do is go onto your computer and have your documents ready. Then you guys want to go ahead and get an application called PDF Binder. Now, this is a pretty old application. It is completely free, no payments, no anything. That's what I was surprised when I actually had to go and find it for myself because I was really looking for some sort of tool to actually go ahead and use myself because I really needed to go ahead and use one. So over here, I have three documents over here, just random documents where I went up and typed in. This is first page with my name on it, number one, two, and same for the third one. So it all applies over here. You guys want to go ahead and open up the PDF binder and you just want to go ahead and drag in all your PDF files that you want to go ahead and merge and bind together. From here, you just want to go ahead and click on bind. It'll tell you where you want to go ahead and save it and what you want to name it. Over here, I'm going to say PDF bind just for the sake of what it is. And I'm going to click on save. Now it's going to open it up automatically, but over here, as you can see, it just popped up really quick. But I was actually surprised when I had done it because every time I used to go online and do it, but that's a very unsecure way, even though that they say it gets deleted right after i don't know if you want to believe that that's up to you but for me i wanted an offline way to do it if you're ever registering like maybe photocopying your passport or driver's license or something and you want to all put it in one pdf file you don't want to be uploading that information online for any reason so once you guys are done you guys can go ahead and x that open up the pdf file and as you can see number one goes number two right on and same for the third one now for me this was very useful as I needed to do this quite actually a lot of uh, for a couple different files because I had not done it on the scanner on our scanner ourselves because for some random reason it just I just had forgotten so that was very very difficult but that's all for the video today guys if you guys did like the video make sure to give it a thumbs up also make sure you guys go ahead and subscribe and hit that bell to be the first ones to go ahead and watch my videos I hope you guys all have a great day and I'll see you guys in my next video